Okay, so here we have So here we have the uh, site that I'm looking at. A few of the pictures here, the front entrance, and uh, there on the top is a uh, two to three bedroom with one bath upstairs. Uh, there's an attic that pointed up there is the attic, and then the upstairs. Ceilings looks like they need to be um, either taken out, and the light fixtures have been stripped. 
So they're just there hanging. Here's a bathroom upstairs. Bathroom would need to be done. It looks like uh, on the back of this wall here, there has been uh, water damage where, I don't know, one of the, the pipes must have leaked and uh, caused damage in the wall a long time ago. Here's one of the bedrooms that looks like there was some roof damage uh, leaking at some time had came through here and there on the bottom there on the floor in the corner is a hole as well so the water had been dripping and dripped down here to cause uh, a, f a hole in the floor. Now here is a room and to the side of the room here you can get to the bathroom and get to the attic from this room. Now here is the upstairs uh, bathroom. You can get downstairs. Here's that room here that has the water damage. Go inside the bathroom. There's steps right there that will take you up to the attic. Okay, ran out of there. <laughs> Now this is your ceiling damage here. The floors look like they're in good shape. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm moving fast. I'd gotten kind of spooked there. All right here's another way you can get downstairs to uh, the front of the building to where that front door was located. Here is a small bedroom here that can be used as an office. Here's the hallway. Now here is that uh, another room here that can be used as a bedroom. Like I said, it, it has those French doors. There is a living room. And right in, okay, so here is a room here. Um, and here is the kitchen. Okay, kitchen. See what we got going on here. Okay. All right, now let's take a look one more time. All right, again, we're coming uh, through the bathroom. There's two ways to access the bathroom. There's two ways to access the apartment. Here is a room that's connected to the bathroom, although I would not use that as a master. Uh, not enough windows and lighting in there for me. Uh, you can access the attic. Looks like it doesn't need that much repair to be a usable space. Oh, one closet in there. This is a nice looking room. Here's a hallway here. Again, there's a doorway that's been boarded up. These are the steps that go down and out the front door to the street. It's a, a private entry upstairs. Um, here's a small bedroom that can be used as an office. And uh, okay, and here we come into another room that can be used as I'm thinking the master bedroom. It's got the French doors there. You're looking at the living, uh, you know, the living room and the kitchen, and uh, that hallway that takes you down to a flight of steps and down into the lounge area. Here is the kitchen. Okay, looks like it. I don't know. Needs some work. But boom, that's what we have. What do you think? Okay, again, let's take a look on the outside of it. Okay, taking a look at this picture. Again, that white door is the steps going downstairs from the apartment. This brown uh, door here uh, is just a like a garage. It's a storage, completely open. And here is the lounge. Okay. In the back here, the backyard, there's a big grill, kind of fenced. All of this can be parking with asphalt or some kind of a mixed cheap uh, rock. And I would like to fit about 12 cars. No parking on the side. There is, you know, get your own parking. Quite a bit of space there. The chimney is in good shape. Actually, the siding looks good and, and the paint. The windows are all, um, you know, good as far as moving in condition. And there you have it. 
So let me know what you think.